the morning throng beside Hampstead Heath as William Ellis boys get to school on time. This is the only boys school in Camden and with around 800 students, it's one of the smallest secondaries in the area. Every member of staff knows all the students. It doesn't take long before you recognise every boy in the corridor. You know who might not be having a great day or a great week. You know how to look out for them. There's a very strong sense of belonging in our school. Here. Yeah? Good. To the outsider, William Ellis looks like a traditional school. Oh, minus four off your total. Well done. Good it was founded in the 1860s, became a grammar school and still has a house system. It retains a robust curriculum with a solid academic core. Jeremiah? Um, the strong do what they want and the weak do what they must. But its founder was far from conventional. William Ellis was a social reformer. He believed schools should educate the whole person as a preparation for life. Ellis was absolutely against rote learning, but in addition to that, he felt the need for practical subjects. And coding is creative. It is about trying to find a solution where there is no solution. Today, as some schools revert to an almost Victorian approach, William Ellis School has stayed true to the original, radical vision. We make it absolutely clear to the boys, we have learner attributes, our William Ellis learner attributes that we constantly reinforce in lessons. Another thing we're trying to encourage that the boys uh, are not just passive within the lesson, but they're also um, interactive and also teaching the other boys in some cases, and that's what we mean about our attributes. We really want to develop those attributes because they're essential not just for education and getting good exam results, they're essential for life itself. <laughs> It's a, it's a nice change. Why does wetting your hands stop you from getting badly burned? Because it's Bobby, would you like to have a grab of some froth? Oh! oh, that's oh my God. Arms out front, don't pull them in. Oh my God! Oh my. What I particularly like about this place is, is the ethos. It goes, with the, it goes with the motto that we have. I'd rather use than fame. It's not about just producing amazing superstar academic students. It's about getting the best out of everyone, no matter what their ability. I'm scared! And it's not about becoming a famous footballer or this or that. It's, it's about just making the best of yourself and contributing to part of a community. The school believes pushing the boundaries of learning works particularly well with boys. Risk-taking learning is a fantastic opportunity and that really enables us to harness uh, the energy and the ideas and um, the, the, the things that the boys bring in from outside of school in the way that they approach uh, what happens in the classrooms. Some of that unstructured risk-taking happens here. William Ellis has its own rural retreat in Surrey. All Year 7 boys spend a week at the mill. Come on, lad. <laughs> Being in a small space like this does challenge me, seeing all the different weather conditions like rain and wind. One kid like, saw a fly in his tent and he completely freaked out, like, oh my god, there's a fly in my tent! I woke up, I found, I found um, about five spiders in my tent. For some of them it's, it's exciting, for some of them it's very daunting. Uh, it's something they've never done before. It's kind of cool because it's like my first time in a super tent. Uh, I really like it. It's really nice and the countryside is beautiful. I had the chance to go inside but I stayed outside because um, cause then I get the full experience. It's fun being out and without having things like computers and stuff. And it's been fantastic. Their little faces as we came up, absolute joy to see. But a lot of them, it's their first experience outside of London. Uh, a few questions of, Miss, why is that field a different shade of green to that field over there? And they just haven't had that experience and uh, this is their first time to enjoy it. So could you survive it? Yeah. The head of William Ellis joins the boys at the mill every year. For him, this kind of learning doesn't just suit boys, they need it. It's one strand in his educational strategy, tailored to boys. Oh. 
I think we can really focus on the needs of boys, certainly boys in early adolescence. We have a curriculum that's designed to interest them and engage them, and also will bring up issues for them to debate and discuss to do with them maturing as adults. We also have a, a curriculum outside of the classroom, which we think is equally important, which focuses on developing teamwork and also understanding some key issues that affect young people as they grow to adulthood in, in today's society. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. Rocco, Rocket. Rocco. Three, two, one. about to tell me what pro-abortion might be, pure what pro-abortion might be. What do you think the... It, it does, it means you're supporting the right to have an abortion. So but what about the argument that you lose something by not having girls around? I think we're very conscious of that fact, that, that the boys are together, and, but that does give us those opportunities to talk about specific issues related to their gender and the role that they have in society. I'm really delighted to introduce uh, George Hammond. George is an ex William Ellis student, so he might talk to you about his time at the school. Um, but uh, George, four years ago, worked with President Obama on his campaign to be re-elected as President of the United States. If I gave you the power to vote, you have a chance to take David Cameron and the Conservatives out of power, put someone else in but you have to take an hour out of your day. I just want to see a show of hands who thinks that realistically they'd get up and go and do that. Okay, so I'm counting about five or six people there. What do the boys themselves think? What's the virtue of being in a single sex environment? I think parents see it as maybe like a very, very important thing, but when we actually, we don't notice it. It clouds their judgment on like how good that the conviction school is. And the education there. Yeah, and the, educa the education is what's more important. It's not really about Mix or mix yeah. Things, yeah. Can, I can sort of concentrate better if there's like if it's only boys in the room. Boys like, don't need to worry about how they might appear to 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 girls, um, and so they can really focus on their learning rather than perhaps performing to stereotypes. Uh, and they're more likely, I believe, to get involved in things that are considered less masculine. They're more likely to get involved in art, in music, and in drama than, say, in a, in a co-educational setting. Teaching in a, in a school of such diverse ethnic minorities and diverse uh, backgrounds, I think it's, it's, it's the boys that keep me teaching here. The, the thing I like about this school, it's quite a small school, so it, it does have a sense of community. Got a really good mix of young teachers and old hacks like me. It's a really positive place to, to work and to learn, I think. That's it.